Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. With a cold morning this morning, many folks saw their first frosty conditions of the season. This was the first frosty morning for Phyllis Drum and Phyllis not quite so sure those tomatoes are going to make it. We have now officially seen the growing season come to an end as we have had uh, the major killing frost and killing freeze over the last couple of days. We will be warming back up now though to back above average and a slight chance for some showers uh, arrive by Friday. Looking outside right now, 53 degrees in Fargo. Moorhead currently at 54 with a light wind out of the south at 9 miles per hour. Sunset getting earlier and earlier, 639 for both Fargo and Grand Forks. Grand Forks currently 50 degrees, partly cloudy conditions. You can see a bit more of that cloud cover there. South breeze at 13 miles per hour. Temperatures have mostly been in the 50s. We do have a few 40s in places like Baudette and Bemidji, currently 49. Looking at satellite and radar, just a few clouds drifting through. Otherwise, we have had a lot of sunshine today. A bit more cloud cover will be arriving later this evening. So looking at your first alert forecast, you see these blue arrows. We've got some breezier conditions out to the west and in northeastern North Dakota. That wind is going to expand more across the region and we're going to see that increase in cloud cover tonight. It's the combination of the south wind, which is a warming wind, and the cloud cover, which acts as a little bit like a blanket, that keeps our temperatures in the 30s for tomorrow morning, possibly even a few lower 40s as opposed to the teens and 20s that we had this morning. But we start off breezy and cloudy and the wind sticks with us. In fact, it increases by the afternoon. While we will have a little bit of sunshine bringing temperatures into the 50s and low 60s, we will have some strong sun Motherly gusts about 35 to possibly 40 miles per hour. So we're preparing for some wind. It stays windy tomorrow night and even windier on Thursday. But looking at temperatures for tomorrow afternoon, this is a snapshot of 4 o'clock. 60 degrees in Bemidji, Wadena, Rozo, 61 in Thief River and Langdon, 66 Fargo, Sisseton, Aberdeen, 65 in Jamestown. So roughly 10 degrees or so above average. But the wind for the next few days, we talked about tomorrow that wind out of the south sustained about 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusting 35 to 40. The windiest day of the week arrives on Thursday with winds out of the south, that warming wind, but gusts possibly over 40 miles per hour. Both tomorrow and more so on Thursday, we're looking at critical or near critical fire weather conditions. So something to look out for. In fact, a few counties in South Dakota already under a red flag warning. Friday, our wind is going to be changing from the southeast to north as a cold front moves through. It'll still be breezy, but not as windy. Precipitation chances, we do have some spotty showers in the forecast for the weekend. We'll take a quick look here as a front moves through. That's going to bring that changing wind direction too. Uh, not everyone's going to see a lot of rain, but Bobby, we've been so dry. We'll take all that we can get. Looking ahead, we still have some 60s and 70s in the forecast, but quite a few breezy days ahead. Cooler was, next week. I was going to say quite a few 50s as well, a 53, yeah. 52 for the high. Get, get used to it, I guess. That's more fall weather next week. It definitely is. Summer. Thanks.